Um, so roughly how long after starting a search fund internship would you then recommend uh, beginning to reach out to bankers? Uh, reach out to bankers about like getting your next internship or you mean like about just like your recruiting in general? Both, I guess. <laughs> Um, I mean, so like the, the, the way I would think about it is uh-huh. like, cause this is your first for you specifically, this is your first and only finance experience, right? Yeah. So, so like, I think that if I were you, I might try to do another internship um, before you start like recruiting for the real thing, you know? So if it's just like, hey, you, you want to now start looking for that second internship, um, I don't think you really need to do that um how long have you how long have you been in in this current one i pretty much just started but i've hopped into the middle of a live deal so i don't know if you were thinking i should get maybe one or two live deals with this current uh fund before moving on to a different one or if i should just stick with this one i think that yeah i mean it would be good to at least see like one like deal right i mean like depending on how long it's gonna take you don't necessarily have to see it all the way through but you know you want to at least like get some substantial experience on the deal to the point where like you feel um you feel comfortable you feel comfortable talking about it in like whatever future interviews that you have right and like you have enough to be able to like speak intelligently about the deal. Um, and so that's like the minimum of what you will want to get out of this internship that you're currently in. But I would say like in general, just generally speaking, we tell people that um, – From a resume standpoint, you probably want to stay at each internship for like two to three months. I would say like three months is probably the kind of sweet spot, right? But like when when I say three months, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be there for like 12 or 13 weeks, you know, like you're usually like the junior summer banking internships that most people do are like nine or 10 week internships, right? But like if it's nine or 10 weeks, you're only listing like the month and the year. And so on your resume, it still looks like June to August, for example, right? So like, that's why I said like that two to three month ballpark is kind of what like a, the length of a standard internship would be or that people are used to seeing. Um, and it's also kind of like a good amount of time where you're able to like get enough responsibilities to have something to actually put on your resume and talk about, but also like, it's not to the point where you've stayed at an internship for so long that like the, the longer you stay, like the, the, the marginal returns on you staying at the internship is, is decreasing over time, right? Like if you ask me whether it's better to have two three-month internships on your resume versus like one six-month internship like two three-month internship is always going to look better because it looks like you've done more right does that make sense yeah okay gotcha so like you're kind of striking that balance like staying long enough but not overstaying to the point where you know there's opportunity costs where you could have just been doing something else right does that make sense so 
even let, let's assume even if the experience at the current one is going well you'd still recommend trying to make a jump to a second one after three months right yeah i mean like generally speaking yes like as long as again you've <clears throat> as long as you've like gotten enough out of your current experience to to where like if they ask you like hey tell me about this experience on your resume you're going to be able to tell a good story about it like that is pretty much all you need right does that make sense yeah, yeah. yeah. You, usually it's not like you need to talk about like two or three different projects from the same uh, from the same internship like usually it's just like hey tell me about this internship and then you just like i mean if you follow the frameworks um that we teach in the behavioral modules like yeah you, you talk about the the firm and, and your role at a high level and then you probably like dive deeper into um whatever the most interesting project is that you worked on there and that's like one project right yeah and that usually is like good enough right yeah does that make sense i mean like especially for someone like you who like the rest of your resume right now is all like not financially related it's like i said this is like your only first and only finance experience so far so i think like yeah. having another second relevant finance experience i think would we just look better right um and of course like with relevant finance experiences there's marginal returns on that as well meaning like obviously if you already have like on here if you already have like four finance internships like do you really need one you know, like, or if you already have three, do you really need a fourth one? Like the, that's then not as additive than like going from like one to two, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Thank you. Sure. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for more customized advice that's tailored for your specific situation, then I invite you to book a free strategy session with our team at the link below. We'll talk to you soon.